Okay, Paul, so here's sort of the game plan right now. Getting ready for the camping trip, and uh, this is the first bad weather day that we've had in like two weeks, so that's, of course, that's how it goes. Um, we also, uh, because of the humidity, and we're probably gonna get rain, my allergies are like acting up like crazy, so I've been sniffly, not feeling great all day, but I'm still determined to make this happen. It just kind of sucks that, you know, one bad day in the two weeks and it's supposed to be good weather tomorrow and it's on the day of our camping trip but isn't that how it goes what also makes us a little bit of a bummer is it's the dog's first camping trip so we had a few hikes planned no you guys go in the back seat you don't go front seat guys you, back seat back seat come on back seat okay let's strap you guys in nope wand up wrong way everybody quit spazzing out there you go Oh, 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 struggle bus, struggle bus. There you go, you made it in. Yeah, it's their first camping trip. Having them in the tent in the rain because we can't hike is gonna be a bit of a bummer. Okay, so we are ready to go. The dogs are a little anxious. They don't know what's going on. Chelsea is now here. I think they're gonna be excited about that. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think they're happy to see you. Daddy's been torturing them. Daddy torturing you? I know, look at he can't get up to you because he's, he's buckled in. Tortured. He's buckled in. He doesn't know how to react. Tortured. <laughs> We're all going for the kisses. So, Paul, we just arrived. We're walking the dogs right now, but it's uh, it's raining. I don't know if it's going to get much worse, but let's show you the, uh, the yurt that we're paying for. Now, this yurt is $200 um, because we have the dogs and I had them provide the firewood for us. I'm hoping we can get a fire. I really want that. Um, and then there was like a $25 each dog fee, which kind of sucked, but it makes sense. They're cleaning it up. But the inside, let's just, let's show you it. Oh, Thor discovered the bed. <laughs> He's discovered the bed. Oh my goodness, look at him. He is happy. Paul, this is the inside. You can tell it's really spacious. Um, the rain is starting to pick up, which kind of sucks. And just check the weather and it's supposed to rain the whole time we're here. Yep. But this is glamping. It's our little getaway. We're gonna take the dogs on a nice long hike uh, real quick, as long as we can in the rain. Um, I am going to try and bring a camera with me, um, test the weather ceiling a little bit. And then we brought some movies and some wine that we're gonna enjoy in here. And then I bought a stove that we're gonna set up um, to, because I kind of expected it to rain, uh, that we're gonna cook with. So that's what's going on, but let's go on the hike. So here we are, we're at our first camping trip with the dogs and we're getting ready to take them out for a nice long walk. It's raining a little bit now and it's foggy and looks kind of yucky out, but it's still nice. The dogs absolutely love adventure, by the way. I feel like I need to point that out. I'm kind of a little bummed because from a photography standpoint, it's not what I wanted, but it is what I wanted in the fact that I wanted to get out in nature and enjoy this experience with my family. Dirty bed. Dirty bed. Come here. Come here. Hey, <laughs> you, you stay. Excuse me, Wanda. Wanda. Excuse me. Excuse me, Missy. Okay. Wanda. I'm gonna be right here. Okay, whatever. So will I. She's fine. Okay, so we were afraid of the rain. So this is uh, why we got this stove. So let's try and set it up so we can cook a little bit. Yes. She's so needy. I, <laughs> I can't, do you see this? You see this? I, I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my knife out of the trunk. A knife, well, a multi-purpose tool. Let's see if I can actually pull out the knife without cutting off my finger. There we go. 
feels nice to actually have to use it. Just, you know, I'm not really using it for outdoor purposes. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Cool. Let's get this sucker set up. So we got this little rain cover. Let's see how well we can use it. There. And because of that, they now have to be in the rain. Yeah. So after we finished our walk, it was raining a little bit harder. So me and Chelsea decided to bust open our wine and to enjoy a movie as we waited for it to get dark so that we could potentially have a fire. Now it was raining pretty hard on and off, but we did get a small break in the rain and we had service there. So we checked and we saw the weather and it looked like it wasn't gonna rain for a few more hours. So we decided to try and have a fire. It was still super humid out though, so no matter what I did, I couldn't get this fire to start and last. We kept using all the kindling we had and we just ended up having it burn out every single time. And one of the things that I really wanted from this trip was to actually sit down by a campfire and just spend a couple hours with the dogs and Chelsea in front of the campfire in the cold, using that fire to keep warm, that classic campfire gathering feeling and I was really bummed and disappointed that I didn't get to have that but super grateful to have the yurt it had air conditioning it was 15 degrees hotter than the days prior and it was fairly warm so the AC was really appreciated it was truly glamping I did set my alarm for sunrise to hope to get something some kind of time lapse for a second there, I thought the sun was gonna break through and give us a little bit of color. So I set up a time lapse. Unfortunately, it was just more gloom. But at the end of the day, still got up early and was prepared and packed up and ready to have breakfast. It's gonna burn. Yep. Pretend to take a sip. Don't actually take a mm -hmm. sip. That's how it works. So for our breakfast, we decided to make some just egg mixed potato skillet kind of thing with some like vegan cheese. I haven't used a cast iron stove in years. So I was kind of thrown off by how much the just egg actually caked onto the, uh, the stove. That was not as much fun as I wanted to to clean. But breakfast was good enough. It was, it was pretty good. It was filling, it was a lot of calories. And I can't say much more to that. The egg is the, the creaminess. Yep. You see them, right? Mm-hmm. We took the dogs on a stroll after that, 
And this is where I got like my hopes up and I got the best shot arguably of the trip. We walked down to the dock of the lake that was literally right behind our yurt. And the sun was like peeking through on the horizon because like I'd said, the weather was supposed to clear up that day. We just had bad luck with the storm rolling through, but you could see it. And I was like, oh, is it going to break through? Look at that sun. It's right there. And I'm not breaking through till after we had left and gotten home. Now, because we still had rain and stuff, we decided to just pack up. There wasn't much more to do other than walk around. Um, there was a beach there that I considered having like a beach day, but when we looked, it wasn't dog friendly. So we decided we're just going to leave for the day and, uh, you know, take home memories. Now, my big question at the end of this is, would I do it again? M maybe? $200 is a lot of money to spend on a glamping experience and keyword is experience because like it is an experience. It's a very unique experience. It's nice to roll up to a site, not have to set up anything and having like a nice actual bed is such a comfort. But when it comes to like the camping experience, like that $200 could have gone towards like an air mattress, a huge tent that we could use long term. Um, for many nights and we have a variety of different locations and options when it comes to that. So I wouldn't do it again. I would rather invest in like a $200 10 person tent for me and Chelsea to share and have that kind of like big spacious enclosure feel, but then we could take that to other campgrounds. I did want to capture more, but in the end, I got to take my wife and my dogs on a camping trip, and that was a lot of fun, and I have footage to document it, so it was a fun little adventure. Um, the next adventure, I will learn from this and just appreciate the fact that I get to adventure. So here's that video. I look forward to seeing your next adventure, um, but until next time, I'll see you around.